In FEMAP 2020.1, there is a new option in Mid-Surface Automatic called Overlap Repair. And this option will help clean up mid-surfaces in areas where ribs come together. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on mid-surfacing my part. I'm going to start with removing the blends. And if you remember from the last release of FEMAP, we added the preview option. So I'm just going to set the limit size to 0.125 and then go ahead and remove a couple of the blends so I can keep the rounded edges on my part here. So I think I have everything selected here, so I'm going to follow through with the command. Okay, I've cleaned up my geometry, so now I can use geometry mid-surface automatic. I'm going to select all and do a target thickness of 0.25. And then at the bottom of the dialog, you'll see the overlap repair option. So I'm going to leave this off for now. Okay, so I created my mid-surface, and now I'm going to use the Draw Erase tool to hide the solids so I can look at my mid-surfaces. So you'll notice in the area where there was a couple ribs coming into each other that two of the ribs actually had different thicknesses, and therefore when the mid-surfaces were created, the surfaces weren't perfectly aligned. So you'll notice that when I'm selecting the surfaces, there's a small rectangular area in the middle where the two surfaces are overlapping each other. So I'm going to go ahead and undo a couple times and get back to the state where I just had my solid part and no mid surfaces. So I'm back to just my solid part here and I'm going to go ahead and use mid surface automatic again. Select all and use the same target thickness of 0.25 and now I'm going to use overlap repair. I've got the mid surface and I'm going to use the draw erase tool again to hide the solid. Now I can compare the mid surfaces after using overlap repair. So you'll notice that when I'm selecting these surfaces, that the edge of both surfaces are actually coincident, and there is no overlap between them. So this can save time on additional steps of geometry cleanup, and as an option, at times, it can create a cleaner mid-surface. In FEMAP 2020.1, there's a new option in Connect Automatic that will allow users to check for connections on internal edges. Before I use Connect Automatic, I'm going to show the steps required to burn in the edges along the inner and outer surfaces. So as you can see, when I show only the inner and outer cylindrical surfaces, there are no internal edges on them from the fan blade-like surfaces. So I'm gonna go ahead and show all surfaces again. And then I'm going to use the command geometry mid surface intersect. Select all my surfaces. And then you'll notice when I show only the inner and outer cylindrical surfaces that those now have internal edges from those fan blade like surfaces. And now I'm ready to create my connections. So I'm going to do this all in one shot and use connect automatic. Select all my surfaces. And then I want to turn on edge to edge and then my new option becomes available. Check for connections to internal edges. So my connections are all created now and these are all glued connectors. So I can expand my model info tree and show some of these. You'll see there on the edges where those internal edges were created from the mid surface intersection. Now I can edit these and you'll see that they're defined on the curves so they'll automatically propagate to the mesh. So I'm just going to skip forward here to my finished model. You'll notice where those connectors were. The mesh does not line up. So these are glued connectors. And this model has already been solved. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off connectors and connection regions and just show some of the mode shapes. New in FEMAP 2021.1 is the ability to match colors using selected entities. In my model here, the elements are currently colored by their property, and the diagonal tubes are too close in color to the shells. So I am going to use the command modify color property and select the property of my diagonal tube, and using the match color with the entity type of property, 
I'm going to select the property of my other tubes. So in this model here, I've imported my geometry, and you'll notice that all of the solids have different colors. So pretty much repeating the same steps as I did before, although this time I'm going to use match color by solid and select the one bushing so I can get all three of the bushings to match colors. And now I'm going to go ahead and repeat that step two more times so I can get the colors of the washers to match along with the colors of the bolts to match.